K94.5 with the Tuesday edition of Cheek and the Ball Guy. That's Crystal. And that's Brandon. Uh, which brings us to a little service that we thought we would introduce today. Something that we thought we could give back to you and help you out. Uh, it's the second date update. So sometimes you go out on a date. Yep. Everything's great. And I'm just saying, been there. And I wish that I would have had this in the beginning of my like 20-somethings where I started a date and I'd get ghosted. I'd go on a couple dates. Everything was great. And then I, of course, would enlist my girlfriends and we would investigate. We'd right. get on Facebook. We'd get on Instagram. We'd find out. But I just, I love having closure. I don't care if, if just just tell me what's up because guess what? I'm going to I'm gonna flex up from here. Well, I'm gonna do now better. is our time to flex up uh, on behalf of someone yes. else. Uh, and we had uh, we had Allie reach out to us. Yes. Allie has got uh, an issue. She she went out with Greg um, and uh, things didn't go exactly right. Uh, Allie, are you there? Hi, guys. Hey, hey, Allie. So tell us a little bit about this. Uh, this Greg fella. How'd you meet him? Uh, yeah, we met online, you know, the dating apps and all that things us young Oh, that's right. Do. You swiped on him. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> I swiped on him. Yeah, and we ended up, like, messaging, and we talked on the phone a couple times, and it seemed like it was going really well. Um, we met up for the date, which was always nerve-wracking, because, you know, he might look like something else or be <laughs> we've, someone we've else. All, we've all seen Catfish. We've all seen Catfish. I think those yeah, fears are real. Exactly. So you showed up and he looked like what you were hoping he'd look like? I mean, maybe even a hair better. So Whoa. that was good. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we, um, it seemed like we hit it off. There were no like weird, awkward moments in the conversation. I don't remember me saying or doing anything that seemed like offensive or off-putting to him. And it just kind of ended and I haven't heard anything so have you tried texting him at all or i mean i texted him like a hey how's it going had a great time kind of stuff but i didn't want to be the crazy girl that sends him seven texts that he doesn't answer to yeah i took the hint i stopped texting but i want to know why he didn't text me back no no i get that i get that like you understand the way the situation is but a little information would be nice please thank you Okay, here's what we're going to do. You hang tight. Uh, we're going to get Greg on the phone oh, so yeah, we can we figure are. out uh, what's going on. Oh, yeah. Let's get to the bottom of this. Freeport Bossier's number one hit music channel, yeah. K94.5. Oh. Think you know it all? Prove it. Play Know It All Trivia Wednesday nights at Whiskey Roadhouse. Shreveport Bossier's number one hit music channel. It's K94.5. You're listening to the Tuesday edition of Chica and the Ball Guy. That's Crystal. That's Brandon and second date update. Yep. We already talked to Allie. Kind of uh, sad for her. She got ghosted. She thought it was a great date. But we're going to touch base with Greg and find out exactly what went down. Yeah, because... The question we have for Greg is why, you know, for, why didn't you, fo- why didn't you, you know, follow up with her and, and what exactly happened? I can tell you, I mean, she's beautiful. She's really smart. And, uh, okay. I really, I like the time that we were spending together, but, uh, the bad news is we weren't spending that much time together because every five minutes she grabbed her phone and peaced out like, Oh, I got to deal with this. I got to deal with this. Huh. And literally what? all night long, she was on and off the phone. And I mean, that I can't stand that from anyone. But like on a first date, trying to get to know someone, I mean, she clearly had not that much interest in me. Or that's what it seemed like. So I thought, you know, forget it. That's actually a new development in the from from what we understand. So you liked her uh, as far as before, like leading up to the date, but the date kind of turned you off. Is that what is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Uh, now, if you don't mind, we'd like to to maybe bring Allie in because I I don't know about you, Crystal, but she didn't tell us that and I kind of want an explanation myself. Well, I'm curious as to what what really happened then. So, hold on. Let me get Allie on the line. Allie, uh, Allie, are you there? Hi, guys. So, Allie, what's going on? I feel like I went to the bathroom a couple times, but I was just going to the bathroom. Um, I mean, it's a little embarrassing. No, no, no. And and if... if and if, I mean, we're just trying to make it to where there is like an understanding in between you guys. Cause honestly, we, the way you guys have talked about each other, we hope that you guys give each other a second chance. But yeah. can you maybe be a little, you know, relationships are about honesty. And if you guys get to that point, uh, what really happened? I was actually um, doing a, a detox and it was sort of wreaking havoc on my insides. What's a detox? So- detox like the detox pills. What are those? Like I don't know loss, what that is. 
healthy thing to like cleanse your body and get the toxins no. out and lose a little weight. Wait a second, and, are you, um, were you taking some kind of medicine or some kind of weight loss thing that made you that made you go to the bathroom? Yeah, it was giving me some tummy rumbling, and I didn't want to, you know, fart at the table or. Oh my god! <laughs> so I was, wow. I was. Are, are I you better was, though? Are you okay now? Life. Yeah, I'm fine. It was just like a grumbly night in my tummy. <laughs> God, <laughs> I was so weird to oh say that. <laughs> I, I totally like, but Greg, I but like Greg, I, I got every time I went. I don't. This is so Greg, I got to point now. out. I got to point out. She's she's got some kind of you know uh, situation going a on. Crappy situation. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you'd say that. But, <laughs> but she still went out on the date with you. Does does that mean anything to you? Oh, yeah, you cannot imagine what a turn-on this is. Oh, man. this is. I um, guess let's just get down to it. If there are no detox pills involved and the possible clearing <laughs> of the entire room, Greg, what, do you, what would you say about a second date with Allie? I mean, yeah, that's fine. I, I don't know why she's detoxing or doing anything. She's beautiful. Allie, Aww. that's... I mean, Aww. Allie, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. What do you think? Would you... Be willing to go out with Greg again? I, I can handle it. Don't forget to bring the charm in, though. And the Febreze. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So uh, at least we got a happy ending uh, with Greg and Kinda. Allie there. So far, as far as we know, we'll see if we we'll can follow up they... with them uh, and see how they go down the road. I wish them exactly. the best. Exactly. Uh, I wish them the best. And and the deal is, if you are ever ghosted, yeah. I hope it doesn't happen to you because been there. Probably one of the worst things ever. But if it does. We're here for you. We are your ride or die. Just yes. know that. We will go through the trenches with you. Just reach out to us and we will crawl through the dirt to find out exactly what's going on for you. You can always find us on Facebook. Or K945.com. Give the gift that keeps on giving. Download the free K945 app.